Howdy my friends, this is Sky Hurricane 89 and welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 3 Ice Spec. And uh, this is going to be great and really really excited about doing this one and need to turn my controller on, that might actually help. But uh, yeah we're going to do everything 100%, there's one thing that I might not do, um, I did do Grand Turismo 200%. I got all gold licenses and that and everything, but golly, it's such a pain. And right now, my mindset is that I'm just going to kind of play and enjoy the game, and I'm not going to really worry about the licenses, getting golds in them. I might try in the future, but I'm not going to make any promises on it, not unless just a lot of people request it and really want to see that. But uh, there are... You know, like Rhino GT4 did a really good 100% LP of this, getting all gold licenses and such, but it really is such a pain. It's a, it's a lot tougher in this game, like on the uh, S license. They're very, very unforgiving on uh, on the races, but you do have some features here. Uh, file operations are actually pretty interesting because um, you can actually see your progress on uh, others. And I kind of did play around with this last night just to kind of get an idea of how this this game works um, because I you know I don't really remember but we yeah, have grantors before on both the files so. so yeah let's uh and on options I actually turned off the race music because and also on the replay just in case I watch it just because I'm sure a lot of it's copyrighted and I just I don't really want to mess with all that I'm sure the intro is copyrighted anyway, but you know that's all right. So we go on here to simulation mode. I'm really, really excited about this, y'all. Uh, notice on the intro there, it just looks a lot more realistic. Yeah, we're moving from the PS1 to the PS2 now, and uh, oh man, it, how it changes, you know, how it changed. But you actually start out randomly with 18,000 credits. You have machine tests, just like in the first two games. You have GT Auto. Just like in the first two games, although I think this uh, has a little bit more in it this time. I can't really remember. Won't really know till I buy a car. And then you have your license center, go race home, car dealer, tune shop, all that stuff. And uh, so first, let's go to car dealer here. And you only have a few options to start out with. So in this part, I will buy my first car, and I will get the first few licenses. Now I think. After I get like half the license test, I think I'm going to take a little break from licenses and then do some racing. Probably the next part. And then uh, and then after that, we will um, do the final licenses, the other half. So. so if we go to Japan here, you have Dahatsu. So we could afford this, which uh, you should remember the Myra from, uh, and the Storia as well. The Storia is actually not a really a bad car. 118 horsepower. Now, look there at the bottom at the power to weight ratio. 7.118. That's one thing that you really want to look at. Kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how good the car is. Look at that power to weight ratio. 11.111. It's really bad. But a uh, Honda. Honda doesn't have anything that we can afford, I don't think. Which is a shame. I really like the way the cars look in this. Pretty good power rate ratio there for a cheap car. I always love the Integris. But yeah, um, you can start out with the Demio, 14,660 credits. 9.795 power to rate ratio. It's even worse than the Storia. So. I've actually never started this game with the story. The cars I always start this game with are the this Mazda Miata 89 here, or the well, or the uh, Toyota Sprinter Truno, which we'll get to in a moment. Yeah, you can start with this 7.966. So a little. Y'all, I hate when I have to say you can record. A little bit worse than the story, but not too bad. And this one's too expensive. The Roadster RS. But, it has a better power rate ratio. So yeah, you can see here, I love this Mazda RX-7 here. It's a good car. 
but you can't start with it in this game. You know, it's real weird on this game. GT3 really cut down on the number of cars that are in the game. But it made all of the cars like no car value. So you, it's not like you can just go to a used car dealer and buy a car cheaply. And it'd be pretty good performance. You know, you gotta actually work your way up towards these cars. Now, another reason I'm not gonna do the license test all gold, at least, at least for sure initially, is that uh, every car that you can win from the license test, you can win from other things as well. So to me, I don't see any need in just overstressing myself. Yeah, even these Silvias you can't afford, just barely. This is another car I usually like to start with on Great Turismo 1 or 2. It's a good car to start with. But yeah, you obviously can't afford any. I wonder if the Mazar X8 is on here. Yeah, it is. What color does it come in? Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good cars. And obviously, we can't afford a Subaru. Oh, I love that Impreza 22B. I just love the way the cars look in this game, man. I mean, that looks like... Like, if you ever go to a new car dealer, you know, and and uh, you see cars on the showroom floor, that kind of is what that makes me think of. You know, how that's all shiny and stuff underneath. And so it's really cool. We could buy an Auto Works Sports Limited. Golly. Yeah, 11.269. Kind of sick. I've never actually started with any of those really slow cars. I'm sure that I would have a hard time, though, if I did. The Vitz Euro Edition. At all. Yeah, 9.77. Not so good. Now, this is a good car to start with. It's very, very cheap. 7.283. Pretty good power weight ratio. Fits RS 1.5. Not really too bad. Not really too bad at all. And then nothing else we can afford. So, even my wonderful Celicas. Now, down below, you have Acura. Can't afford any of those. Yeah, this is going to. I always end up taking a lot longer than what I anticipate. But we can't afford this just barely. I've actually never started the game with this. 8.466, not really that good. It's actually rather heavy. Not too horrible, though. Hmm. I've never started with this before. I don't know how how bad a mistake that would be. It probably really is going to suck. But then again, I am tempted to try something new. I don't think I've ever even bought that car in this game. And that is a car that you can't win because the Mazda Miata and the uh, Toyota Sprinter, you can actually win those cars from various things. So, it's tempting to, to try and use it. Yeah, this car, you know, I mean, this car, the Cobra is really expensive in this game. Yeah, this, uh, this game, even though it doesn't have very many cars. It has a pretty cool selection. And it does have some new ones that you don't see in other games. But anyway, we'll look at all these other ones later. Uh, I will go ahead and say that the, out of all those ones I showed, I don't think anything else is affordable in any other. So I think, I think I'm actually going to start with this thing. Another thing it has going for it is its front wheel drive. And so that will enable me to do certain championship, the front wheel drive championship. I kind of like the turquoise color. Okay. Then we'll turquoise or blue, though. Alright, let's get it. Oh, gosh, y'all. I spent all my money on this thingy, thingamajig. Alright, so let's go get our light. Well, before we do license, I think... I can't remember what all okay so okay here's the wheel shop the wheel shops in its own it's actually inside the GT auto place 
unlike in Gran Turismo 2 when it's in a separate place. And you actually can do oil change because once your car gets so many miles, it actually uh, will need an oil change or its power will be decreased. Don't you hate it how if you sneeze, your uh, you just your nose just runs ridiculously and will not stop? <laughs> so I think in this part, I'll do the uh, B license, the A license, and if I have time, I'll do the I B. But uh, we'll definitely get the B and the A done because I actually spent quite a bit of time messing around. So yeah, this is very similar to oh the no Be the Volkswagen No Beetle was another car you could start with. I forgot all about them. Actually, is another car you can start with, but its power to weight ratio, I believe, is even worse than the PT Cruiser. I think I will show that after we do the licenses. But yeah, these are really, really all hard to get a goat on. I have gotten all goats on them before, but I just really want to have fun with this, y'all. I don't want to overstress myself by, you know, the excruciating task of trying to get all goats. I just want to play through the game. I want to race. I want to race. I don't want to do licenses for 10 hours. And uh, that's probably really how long it would take me. I'm not even going to lie. And, uh, okay. I probably got, probably failed there. Yeah, I did. Time expired. Oh, gosh. How sad. Yeah, of course, you know we couldn't get all these in the first 10 minutes. Volkswagen New Beetle. Yeah, their graphics really are pretty good, you know. Quite a step up from Gran Turismo 2. Gran Turismo 2, you know, did what it could with PS1, but it just really, I guess it was better than GT1, but not really by much. So, quite a stark increase. Okay. Okay. Got a silver, actually. It's cool. Almost got a gold. Um, the B license here actually isn't near as hard to get a gold on as the uh, the later licenses. They actually get, you know, it's kind of weird. The uh, or the the final license where you do all the you actually have a new thing here. You have like an analyzer where it shows you like a graph. Kind of how you just accelerate it and then you slow down and it really breaks it down for you. It even shows the track this on. Well, well that's pretty pretty cool, I guess. I don't think there's a thing that leads to the next one. You have to completely close out. But yeah, it's really weird because the license is where you have to get have to go a full lap around the track. Those usually are the easiest ones to get gold on, but not in this game. Uh, not in this game. They are so unforgiving. You have to have like a perfect lap all the way around the track, you know, and almost all of them, which to me just really is asking too much. I mean, you should be more forgiving if it's a whole track, whole lap. So same thing as with the Beetle, but uh, we got a powerful viper here and I'm gonna fail oh well I actually passed okay I don't even really care we passed that was definitely pretty bad but yeah B3 moving on through this pretty quickly basics of corning front wheel drive and a coupe turbo plus coupe they do give you a driving line here as well. And also, I think this is the introduction of, if you are trying to get all golds on these, um, you actually have the driving line. Well, you have the driving line to follow, which I think was in GT2. But also, you have your ghost. Which I kind of followed the driving line, but I guarantee you I'm not getting close to a goat. Nah, I really Oh wow, I did get a gold. <laughs> that actually wasn't hard at all. First attempt. What do you know? Yeah, I don't think these are too hard to get a gold on. And technically, you know, since you can win a free car, you could save your 18000 you know, by doing this. But, yeah. 
You know, I would rather play through the game the way most people probably play through it on their first time. You know, just kind of you know, get right into the racing. It's really what I want to do. I'm just impatient like that, I guess. Honda S2000. Yeah, I did really follow the draw driving line real well. That does help. But, uh, they don't really give you a driving line to follow. They don't really give you a driving line to follow, though, in the subsequent licenses. I know they do in the B and the A, maybe. But not in the, uh, probably not in the International B. At least they really did cut down the license test. Because they had so many in Grand Turismo 2. I don't think there's an IC license in this. They might be the only one that's actually cooked, though. I really don't think that was very good. That's a bronze. Ugh. Yucky. I don't like bronzes. Usually I would always try to get at least silvers, but... But uh, not in this. Applied cornering, front wheel drive, Civic Type R. I remember this test. Weird how you don't have a choice to get a, a manual shift. You have to use automatic. Which, you know, I bet, I think you could change it in the options menu. It's pretty much the same test as a uh, as uh, the A license in Ranchers Mode One with the, the Honda Prelude, the A A Five, is it? Yeah, that sucked. I'm just gonna get bronze on almost all these problems. <laughs> I don't feel like doing them over and over again. B5. So same thing, but this time a rear wheel drive car, the Mazda Miata. I like this color trip pretty. Really cool looking. Yeah, I'm really excited about getting into the racing. That's what I'm hoping to do. I kind of lost my balance there, so I, I know that this isn't. I know that this isn't very good. Oh wow, that really sucked. I'm probably not even gonna pass. <laughs> we did somehow. They're very forgiving on these, but you know it's real weird. They uh, like. They're so much tougher on the S license than this. Just crazy. MRS. So yeah, this is just like the A6 license in Grand Turismo 1. Where you had the Toyota MR2, which was actually much faster than this, but... They like to give you slow cars on the license test for these as well. Which I guess is okay, but uh, I hit the brakes there and I probably didn't need to. And I let off the gas there a lot, which I probably didn't need to. Oh well. Ooh, we got a silver. I'll take it. MRS is a cute little car. I really miss the MR2 though. They really, really downgraded when they switched to the MRS. Skyline GTR V Spec 2, R32. So yeah, this is actually on the B license this time. This was the uh, this was the A4 license testing. Grand Turismo 1. See, that's cool how they bring a lot of these same exact ones back. Look at how much. Look at how Trial Mountain looks, though. Isn't that, isn't that pretty cool? Oh, wow, so. Let's just fail. Just, gosh. 
That was a shame. They wouldn't fail me, so I had to fail myself. <laughs> Notice how you do have more time than what you had for Rancher's Mole 1. Because, uh, you know, it does go slower in this game. I think I had a good exiting speed there, but... Let off the gas there. So far, I'm kind of following the driving line. See if we're right there, I think we could go better. Eh, got a silver. Not bad. Yeah, notice on your uh, your miles per gallon. Eh, miles per gallon. Your uh, miles per hour thing on your tachometer and stuff, it actually tells you what gear you need to slow down to. You know, which is pretty cool, I suppose. But yeah, B license exam results. Look at us, we got our B license. Oh yeah. I'm probably going to try to keep these parts from being too long. So hopefully around 30 minutes or so for each, for each uh, video. Of course, when I do the endurance races, they're going to be longer. But, and you can always pause and read this information if you wish. I'm already about 27 minutes, which is crazy. It seems like I haven't done anything. But yeah, good old Acura NSX, Honda, whatever you want to call it. Seems like all these license tests are a little longer. Not too much longer. Seems like even though there were more of them in Grand Turismo 2, they uh, didn't take that long. Okay, good, a silver. Not bad. Yes, I know I got a silver. Thank you. Yeah, these really aren't too hard to get a goat on at all. But I mean, it might literally take you hours to get goat on the, the S license because you have to keep redoing the whole track over and over again. If the whole track takes like two minutes, which several of them do because they give you slow cars, then uh, and you have to redo the track 20 times, you know, that's easily an hour and a half, two hours. Oh, let's see. That kind of sucks. Wow, a car really wants to oversteer. And somehow I get a silver. I don't know how, because that really was kind of lousy. But I'll take it. Okay, A3, practical cornering. Oh, we got the uh, that first corner of midfield. S2000. It shouldn't be too bad. It is just practical after all. Yeah, I think you can change the manual through the options menu thing. Kind of, you know, it's different. It doesn't ask you before each race like it does in the other Grinders most. I did all right on that. Oh yeah, pretty good. Not far from a goat, actually. You know, it's weird I'm doing better on the A license than I was on the B. <laughs> kind of funny. So far, A4. Oh, a circle track. Mazda RX-7 Type RZ. Now these I don't remember being very hard. Of course, it would probably take me a few attempts to get a gold. But what you want to do is you want to... Wasn't there a similar test? Yeah, there was a similar test in a Renters Mode 2. Oh, I failed. What you want to do is... Well, dang, I want to try again. Is uh, you want to get as close to the apex as you can. And stay at, stay at the center. But also go as fast as you can seems to be 
around 60, 62 to 64 miles an hour. Yep, we kind of went out. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh man, I could almost got to go. I did kind of mess up though. I think after you, yeah, it still counts. She's getting the silver there. Oh well. Yeah, that one's pretty easy to get a gold on. So same thing, but this time is a hundred radius. Funny little track. So we'll be able to go a little bit faster. Oh gosh. Yeah, I really need to be doing near the apex. So it seems like 82, 83 is the speed I need to go. If only they were all this easy. For the last few seconds, I'll. Okay, now let's give it her all. I think I was a little. Just like the last time, I should should have waited a little longer before I went all out. Alright, A6, XKR Coop. Now this is the, no this isn't the tough hairpin, I don't think. This is the section right before the hairpin. And a Jaguar XKR. Oh man, I'm really sucking on driving out of this. Got another silver, golly, I'm getting silvers on all these. That's pretty cool, pretty cool, y'all. Kinda wanna keep the silver straight going. Oh yeah, this is that uh, really tough blind corner. Really, really short test, but uh, very hard, very difficult to get a goat on. From my memory. Good old Camaro. This is actually a good cheap car also. Oh yeah, that was lousy. But uh, it was still a silver. But it wasn't too lousy, I guess. Alright, and A8. Starting at 140 miles per hour. Lancer Evo 4. Yeah, now this time I think we do have the uh, airpin, no gosh. Yeah, and I knew that was happening. And yeah, this car really understeers as well. You gotta get as close to those cones as you can without actually touching them. So it wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad. And yay, we got our eight license. Look at us go. So y'all, next time we will actually get into some racing. So we should be able to do quite a bit with our a and B license that we got. See, I think with the Sunday Cup, 
I don't even think you have to have, yeah, you don't even have to have a license, so. Well, yeah, y'all, we'll do this in the next part, and we'll thank y'all very much for watching. This has been Sky Hurricane. Hope you have a super awesome blessed day, and as always, stay awesome, my friends. Goodbye.